<laughs> well, I think the, uh, our foreign policy hasn't changed. Uh, we have always um, um, uh, supported um, uh, the, the international uh, order that exists uh, um, and uh, is centered around multilateralism in um, uh, New York at the United Nations. And the president seems to be following uh, on the same st steps. Uh, but I think I have um, a bit of a problem with uh, the, the rule-based international order uh, because it is no longer um, rule-based, as you can see. Uh, there are powerful countries like the United States uh, who have uh, intervened uh, in attacking or mm -hmm. occupying uh, smaller, uh, weaker countries. Mm -hmm. um, uh, mass, maximum uh, force has been used to overthrow and change regimes. Mm -hmm. in places like Libya, Iraq, and so on. Uh, and the Russian uh, incursion into Ukraine uh, is just an expression of a powerful state uh, which feels it is a national interest, its uh, international interests are threatened. Uh, and um, I think what uh, the president meeting mm -hmm. uh, this particular leader is more a symbolic, uh, really, gesture. I don't think there's anything that we can do for Ukraine uh, other than emphasizing the need uh, for rules-based system in the world. And uh, our position was made very clear at the start of the conflict when our ambassador to, uh, to the United Nations um, explicitly um, uh, made that um, historic statement mm -hmm. on the need uh, for the respect of uh, the territorial integrities, sovereignty of all countries, and emphasizing the fact that we're all equal. In the, as nations of the world. So this is a, a standard policy that we have followed everywhere, and I, I don't see. But uh, the world is changing. Uh, the world